Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Evan. In today's video, I'm going to break down the one and only trade that I took today that made me 23% on the queues. So as you can see, uh, what I have pulled up on my screen right now is QQQ. We are on the one minute time frame. I'm going to explain to you guys kind of what, like how I've been trading because I have a posted video in about like six ish days. So I'm going to explain to you guys exactly how I've been trading and how I've been drawing out uh, my pre-market plan and, and um, kind of setting things up. So typically what I'll do is now I'll start on the one hour time frame. We did have a trend line on the one hour time frame that I was looking at today. Obviously, you can see we broke out above it um, and we ended up actually... Uh, I, I could probably could have drawn this further, um, further back, but overall it was a descending, um, or lower, lower highs on the one hour time frame. So I've been going out to the one hour time frame, looking for key levels and marking them out on the chart. Um, another thing I've been doing right after that is I'll typically zoom into the five minute or the 15 minute, <clears throat> and then I'll look at the levels for the previous day. Today, it wasn't super relevant, the levels for the previous day, because, the massive push up overnight because of the Nvidia earnings, I believe it was. So with that being said, we're gonna go back to the one minute. I'm gonna to explain to you guys exactly what I was looking for in this trade. So one thing I did mark out, um, if this thing stops glitching, okay, all right. So this has been happening all the time. Anyways, I marked out this area right here where price continuously started to come back. Didn't always touch it, but continuously came back to and began pushing off of. As you can see, as soon as the market opened, we went into that area and then bounced. Surprise, surprise, right? Then we have the one hour trend line right here. Um, and so like in the morning, I was not really looking to trade just because of this. This is whack. Um, literally in one, one, one minute candlestick, the price would go all the way up, all the way back down, all the way up again, and then all the way back down. Like it was wild. Um, and I just did not, did not like that. So pretty much waited for, um, this area. Obviously as you could see, we broke the one hour trend line right here. We ended up breaking the one hour trend line, breaking above retesting and going further. Now I did not take this trade because my TOS was laggy. Okay. That's probably uh, like a bad excuse, I guess, but I could have easily taken this retest because that's initially what I wanted was a break and retest of the one hour trend line. That's exactly what we got, right? And I could have taken this trade right here, but my TOS was laggy. So without, uh, without that trade, basically we came back down, right? We retested, we had all these in the way. We had the nine, the 20, the 45 and the 200 um, all as support. We came back down to basically previous resistance right here and the 200 um, moving average and we ended up bouncing. Once we started to bounce there and after that I saw that we started consolidating, I decided, okay, I can put some risk on here because I can set my stop below this previous low um, and then I can aim for these highs up here. That was the goal was to aim for these highs. Um, I ended up entering a call right here, right? And, you know, surviving a little bit of chop right here. We pushed up once, we pulled back down. We didn't, I did not stop out. We still stayed above the moving average and above the previous low. We ended up making another push up. And once we took this previous high, because we made a lower high right here, once we took that lower high, I decided to get out um, because I wasn't completely sure that price was gonna move back up in my favor. Now, as you can see, we chopped around, we ended up breaking that previous high slightly, but it was definitely not worth all this waiting around. So essentially sold, bought, bought here, sold here. If you guys don't know already, the red arrows are my entries, purple arrows are my exits. And from here to here was 23%. So pretty good trade on the day, held the trade, um, a little bit of drawdown, but overall solid trade. Um, it moved in my favor. And this is kind of how my trading has been for about the past week. Um, so I haven't been making like a ton of videos because it's not a crazy trade. It's really not. And I like to be able to post and show you guys my really good trades. Now, if you guys like more average trade videos like this one, uh, leave a comment down below um, and I will, I will post the average trade videos as well. So thank you guys for watching today's video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and like this video for more videos. I like this one and I'll see you guys 